I'm Eric, and this is Audio Elispa signing with. We were promised housing at the Vignes building, Vines building, by Lasha Path Urban Anarchy. And, uh, yeah, pizza. Um, I look like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, right? <laughs> yeah, he really did. The nose hurts. Um, we are part of the 4118 sweep of 4th and Figueroa. I was part of the 4118 sweep of the 1st Street Tunnel. I was part of the 4118 sweep of the 3rd Street Tunnel. I was part of the 4118 sweep <coughs> that is under Lower Grand. That's four different instances of sweeps that promised housing yet only the first one at fourth and figueroa had the follow-through i would say my wife and i were responsible for creating the community that made such a diverse group of people that needed to be housed because we set up our camp underneath the freeway across from the la grand with the intention of hopefully getting into the la grand because we were kicked out Ironically, from the Bonaventure Hotel. Yeah. Not where everyone else came from, but... And we had over $25,000 worth of possessions on us. Including musical instruments for an eight-piece band. And we protected it like it was... Like, like it was like a Wild West movie. And we had to get in... Approved by all the gangsters... <clears throat> by standing up for ourselves. I got caned in the back. We were attacked multiple times, threatened by machete. He will try to rob us, but we don't do fentanyl or any of that stuff. So we were actually capable of staying awake. But my wife was going through a... Uh, uh, I had issues with my... With my... Like, that's a fact. Did an IUD removal that went... Um, caused an infection in my, in my, yeah. service, uh, area, this, and so that has gone, I've been dealing with, like, so I've got infections ever since then. I'm crazy. Still making me crazy, because I, I'm not paranoid, but I definitely see a lot of um, connections with other things. You're paranoid telling me my mind does things that it doesn't. I feel a new sense of awareness. Uh, and, um, we are trying to call the city on their bullshit. See, we were staying at the Mariachi Plaza Hotel before that. And they had no letter to comply, notice to comply. Yet they voluntarily decided to upgrade their building without permits. We notified LADBS. And he didn't, Mark Van Sluten didn't believe us at first. Then he did believe us. It was too late when he believed us. Mm -hmm. We filed a restraining order, injunction, received. The temporary one. Which would hold out till a hearing. But it was too late. They pulled guns on us, threw it us out to the street, threw our shit out the windows, dragged us out, and... Mariachi Plaza Hotel fucked our life up when we were in the middle of processing our <coughs> our case for our house. See, we're homeowners that won a lawsuit that was false claims against us by Church of Scientology members who created a phony eviction to steal our house Transfer our title through slander of title in MARTA, Marketability Act, Recordability Title Fraud. And they broke and entered through the bottom building. Mm -hmm. Illegally converted the building into a Airbnb. And continue to subdivide the property 
big upper and lower through apartments.com mm -hmm. Coldwell Banker Realty which was illegally transferred ownership and title through Coldwell Banker Realty dumping it onto Ken Shapiro who sells it to his daughter which they had no right because we don't have a mortgage we own it in fee simple and the judge even made the ruling in our favor for the defendants and against the plaintiffs for the defendants Eric Seidenglens and Alicia Batura and against Joshua Markets and Long Pat Co, Chenny Shapiro, Richard Judson Williams <coughs> we told the city over and over and over LADBS, CSLB, we told the state Now here we are, half dead in a hotel room. That our family helped pay for for a few days because Thanksgiving came a year and a half later. And my wife is going through such a psychosis that I couldn't handle it anymore and I called their family. Now, we contacted Ada our caseworker from Lasha or whatever <coughs> and she says she's not a caseworker she says she's a referralist the fuck does that mean the fuck is wrong with the city so they give you referrals to housing so she said we were yeah that's also a big message yeah so when Nuri Martinez and fucking Jose Huezar and fucking, you know, Kevin DeLeon are all getting ejected and our house is signed off for by Kevin DeLeon, I'm sorry, by um, Jose Huezar. And, and my wife wakes up in the hospital after disappearing for five days with a Team Huezar bag. Shut up, that just showed up. You gotta ask yourself, is Scientology paying off the LAPD, working with Team Huezar and basically not giving us any police presence at the at the mariachi plaza when we demanded it because we had a fucking restraining order because everybody's being paid off by fucking city developers to fucking allow the city council to fucking look the other way ladbs to look the other way all these permits that are necessary to actually remove a house from oh our house was removed from the reap program by carlos Pelez, the brother of the lawyer jacqueline grace Pelez. Mm -hmm. And Tony Pelez. I just saw that Carlos Pelez also approved, was, along with David Chen, were the ones that approved all the permits to our house. Yeah. At LADBS. Together. So, <coughs> we call bullshit, especially when Andrew Rubicalva, the sheriff they used to execute the writ of possession, shows up at 3.21 a.m. in the morning and then parties till 5 a.m. outside the lower building with his siren on on the day of the actual execution and when he answers his phone it, the locksmith answers his phone at the same time and then when we review videos from ring we see that the locksmith is actually a subcontractor who works for Richard Judson Williams who specifically is not a locksmith is not bonded and licensed and is literally a breaking and entering thief who breaks into our house and stalks and harasses our friends and physically assaults them because they use their subcontractors as a gang to assault us They, being the Shapiros, Williams, from Scientology, have stolen over 40 homes in the Los Angeles area, to our knowledge, and probably more. Palm Springs, because they're in a very famous case called uh, Friends and Neighbors of Palm Springs, something like that, versus the city of Palm Springs. Mm -hmm. Rolanda versus Melansky, um, or Melansky versus... Matt Lansky. Huh? Matt Lansky. Yeah. David Glazier, Eric Seidenglanz versus Chenny Shapiro, um, Ben Bolton versus, uh, you name it. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so eight or so fraud cases against them in the past for trespass, for quiet title actions that are phony, for attempted easements that are phony, for, for property fraud. And they should be stopped. And we should get our housing until the yeah. DA takes this real estate fraud claim and does something with it. Absolutely. 
<coughs> because this isn't going to stop. We're never going to get paid on our claim unless this is a criminal case because they need to be taken to jail. They need to be charged by the IRS for fraud. And the city needs to be responsible for its crime and its corruption. And we have more than the statute of limitations because both my wife and I are disabled. So fuck you, Los Angeles. Fuck you.